I'm Robert Osborne. With our last film, this week's essential witness for the prosecution, we began a night of mystery here on TCM, one that includes a special late night edition of the essentials, the film Clute, which we'll be showing at midnight Eastern. In the meantime, though, we have another one of my own favorite films, Laura, from 20th Century Fox in 1944, starring Gene Tierney, Dana Andrews, and Clifton Webb. It's a story about a detective played by Dana Andrews assigned to investigate the murder of a beautiful woman, someone he only knows through a mesmerizing portrait of that woman in her apartment. And because of that painting, he finds himself falling in love with her. Sound too bizarre to believe? Well, trust me, if you watch the film, and I hope you will, it'll all make a lot of sense, and I'll lay odds you'll be as entranced by this film as I have been for years. It's based on the story by Vera Caspery, which in 1942 was serialized in a magazine under the title Ring Twice for Laura. A year later, Vera Caspery republished it as a novel with the title Laura, and it was the novel that caught the attention of producer-director Otto Preminger in Hollywood. Preminger commissioned a script and took it to 20th Century Fox, which was kind of a bold move for him, considering that not too many years before, Preminger had been fired by the boss at Fox, Daryl F. Sanic, and Otto vowed he'd never work for that studio again. But Sanic liked this story about Laura and agreed to let Preminger produce it. But he assigned the directing duties instead to Ruben Mamoulian. But Mamoulian and Preminger soon clashed, and Mamoulian was eventually let go, and Preminger talked Sanic into letting him take over the directorial reins as well. And Sanic never had a reason to regret it because Laura became a classic. It earned five Oscar nominations, including one for Preminger as Best Director. And the film won the Oscar for Best Black and White Cinematography. It's been a great favorite of movie fans ever since. Here's the film also with Vincent Price and Judith Anderson and a really unforgettable music score by David Raxon. Here's the great story of Laura. <laughs> ¶¶ 